very obviously there's something we didn't cover tonight. And um, <clears throat> I would suggest to everybody that you go watch the videos that Mike Rinder put out. There's uh, seven of them. And they're a fucking heartbreaking. They're absolutely fucking heartbreaking. And um, I expected, because everybody's like, oh, he's going to spill, he's spilling the tea about Aaron. I expected to feel some catharsis um, from the work that I've done regarding uh, SPTV and Aaron Smith Levin. And I will tell you that like a half a percent of what I felt was catharsis. What you, you heard the story of a man who has stage four cancer and, um, is dying. I can't, I know it's, I don't have his medical record. The man, the man is dying. And as he leaves this world, after having been manipulated and abused by a cult, then being abused by the cult after he left because he chose to speak out about the cult, and then making a TV show with Leah Remini about the cult, all in attempts to, uh, as far as I can tell, make amends for the abuses that he was party to in the cult. Now in his last days, his last years, he has a, I'll call it a medium to high inner control group operating as a YouTube channel and uh, other MLM-ish YouTube channels in the downline harassing him. Harassing his wife, harassing his friends, uh, telling lies about him. Very publicly. And in the space where he did his work. The man can't go on YouTube and search Scientology without finding his abuser, Aaron Smith Levin. And this is the case for many people who have left the cult of Scientology. Maybe Aaron didn't abuse them, but if you go right now, go look up Scientology on YouTube. Fucking go in incognito mode. Wait a minute, I'm sorry I said that wrong, right? Uh Using the monkeyer of incognito. All you will find is Aaron. You'll find it'll be the Aaron show. Um, I just encourage you to watch those videos. There were some things in there that I had heard. You know how you hear things. But when I wrote the article, then these things happened before March of 2024. When I wrote the article, I really good. Well, I mean, I wrote that so i had help i had help from a, a journalist and a, a sociology professor making sure that article made sense and wasn't fifty thousand words um but some of the stuff that i couldn't uh in good conscience report on was confirmed by mike render in those videos um other people ran portions of his video to comment on it to uh go after him um, i thought about running some of that tonight and I decided not to. I'm not going to show you Colt's craft coffee and go fuck yourself shitting on a dying man because this dying man had the temerity to step out of line with Aaron Smith Levin and his cult of personality. Our Somebody on the Austin Bennett list, Nora, posted a video about it. Apparently, she ran 45 seconds of it and saw fit to do two hours of commentary about it while um, monetizing. What's her name? Relatable Reese put up a video about it. Um, I don't... Yeah, it's no show Nora. But Nora not showing up to talk to me was funny. Right? <laughs> that was pretty funny. I'm fucking nobody. And she could have screamed at me for an hour until I hung up on her. And her fans would have thought, that, oh, you told that guy what was up. That's That was funny. Running 45 seconds of a dying man's video and then spending two hours shitting on him is not funny. Unless it's Henry Kissinger. If Henry Kissinger would have done a seven part video series, five to 10 minutes long each video about fucking, I don't know, blowing the whistle on somebody, have at it. Mike Rinder is not Henry Kissinger. <clears throat> and 
the fucked up part about this is all the people that uh, Aaron has made enemies with. We're talking um, Amy Scoby, um, fucking uh, Mark and Claire Headley, um, Mike Rinder, Leah Remini. Those people at every turn, when this guy did something stupid, they circled the wagons for him. Mark Headley, I believe, was in charge of the Aftermath Twitter when I wrote the article calling for the Aftermath to remove Aaron Smith-Levin and tagged them. I was blocked by the Aftermath Foundation. I don't believe that was Aaron in charge of the Twitter. Mark Headley it, like, did that. Like, that's all. I don't know, you know what else was going on behind the scenes except for what Mike has said. But they all circled the fucking wagons for this guy. From his appearance on the Rick Wiles White Power Hour to his uh, the famous cigar bar incident where he got beat up, and then I guess another incident where he got like kicked out of a bar for like harassing women either in Tampa or Clearwater, and a whole ass other incident that I couldn't report on because I couldn't <clears throat> verify it was true at the time where he just went on like a like a coke binge and like a, apparently it was a treated a sex worker in uh, South America in an abusive way that they fucking they covered up. After apparent, I guess he bragged to them about it. He told them that he was like the fucking cocaine king or some shit like that. These people tried to fucking run interference and put up the fucking smoke screen for this guy until they couldn't anymore. And instead of him just being a normal fucking person who was no longer on the <clears throat> board of a foundation. Well, one of the errors in my last article was that his picture and uh, name were there. Not just his name, but it's just like thanks him for his service. He used to be a member of the board. He went nuclear on these people. <clears throat> After all of them, including Mike Rinder, did everything they could to try to fucking brush under the rug all the dumb shit he was doing in his personal life. And since then, he started turning on people who were defending him. Remember when he turned on Nora? Right around the time Nora didn't show up on my show? And we fucking Austin Bennett ruled her? Him and his cult of personality turned on this woman, Liz Ferris, while she was in the hospital? <clears throat> and outside of brief things that Mike Rinder had said on his blog about this. It took until now for Mike Rinder to do essentially a video series on uh, what happened to him the second time in his life that he left a cult and was harassed by that cult. All the while knowing that he was dying or probably dying from stage four cancer. So you won't see a minute of that video on this channel. I want, I encourage you to watch it yourself. Bring your fucking tissues. Even if you don't know the players or what's going on in this, you won't see, <clears throat> you won't see a moment of any of the reaction videos from those people here. We don't have a big platform, but we have a platform where people trust us and that we make good decisions as far as content here. When the eventuality happens that Mike Rinder's life is over on this planet, as the Scientologists would say, you may very well see a fawning tribute to the man on this channel that we have crowdsourced. Well, it's weird crowdsourcing content for someone's eulogy who's still alive. Um, but I've been thinking about that a little bit. Uh, it's just Mike Rinder. You can go look at... Uh, can somebody get a link to Mike Rinder's channel in the chat here? Um, <clears throat> and to you, Aaron, Nora, Miriam, um, who the fuck else? Colts and coffee and cunts or whatever. If after all this is over, you decide that I am now your enemy. This community will not handle it like Mike Rinder's community has. <clears throat>